Dr. Mailvanan for uh, gracing this occasion. Um, my uh, association with, my, with Mail Vaknan, I fondly call him Mail, is uh, from 1975. He was my senior by two years in college. And uh, his father, Professor M. Natarajan, was our teacher and a legend himself. And uh, Mail Vaknan Natarajan is a greater legend. He's been awarded the Padma Shri, and we're all really proud of him. And uh, uh, sharing a few um, you know, mom, uh, what, what will I say, a few comic moments when uh, once we were in a reception and uh, Dr. Mail was standing behind me and uh, he was just tying my handbag. So I said, what, Mail? He said, Gita, you, you keep the handbag, but you give me all the contents. I don't know whether he remembers, but that's what he said. So uh, he's been really close to me. And uh, he uh, actually encouraged me to apply for the Padma Shri as well. Um, now, uh, uh, to welcome uh, Dr. Mail. And um, <clears throat> now, regarding the uh, journey of Prashant, uh, everybody knows that uh, we started in the year 2005. Prashant Fertility started in the year 2001. And Prashant Hospital started in the year 2005. It was uh, basically a fertility and uh, a women's and maternity hospital and uh, but I realized that there was a need to put in other specialities as supportive specialities and uh, uh, orthopedics was also one of them uh, we had general medicine we had surgery we had all the other specialties but the core speciality was fertility maternity gynecology pediatrics and neonatal intensive care as uh, the hospital grew and we uh, um, you know, had more patients. There was a request from uh, the residents of North Chennai and South Chennai to create a similar, uh, you know, hospitals in uh, North and South Chennai. So Velachari started, but this time I made sure that uh, we had so many consultations, co-consultations, and we decided we needed all the specialities. So we started off with all specialties, and it, this was a super specialty hospital, which. Uh, uh, catered to all specialities like cardiology, nephrology, orthopedics, and uh, uh, all other specialties, including uh, kidney transplants and everything. Um, the uh, prime aim of Prashant Hospitals is to bring in novel strategies and high technology to achieve results. This is what happened uh, to Prashant Fertility because I came in uh, with technology which I uh, you know, acquired when I went abroad, and uh, we made sure that we started with the best of technology, the best of equipment, and uh, to name a few, we put in equipment to select the top class sperm. When we look at the 7,000 times bigger, and uh, we also selected technology to create and select the best embryos, and we have technology which even gives marks to the embryos, 80, 90, 100 marks, so we're able to select the top class embryo. And before putting it in, we use the laser to thin down the shell, and we use embryo glue to make it stick. So all these technologies, normally the success rate would be about 45 to 50 percent. But we've using these strategies, the success rate moved on to 80 percent. And currently, in male infertility, we have technology where we're able to take sperms from even azoospermic men. Normally, the microscope used is a 10x microscope. But uh, we used the 40x microscope. We introduced this for the first time in India in 2014. And uh, many uh, biopsies which were negative using the normal microscope were proved positive. At least 70% of them may prove positive. We were able to retrieve sperms. And 70% of these men had babies from their own sperm. So we always believe in bringing in the best technology to give the best results. And uh, we have also. Uh, upgraded our cardiology unit and uh, we have brought in uh, the TAVI and uh, also the ECMO and we, our intensive care unit is also upgraded. We have the ECMO and we have a current new technology in cardiology which is uh, present in very few centers. So we believe in upgrading technology and we know that this gives precision and the best results to the patient. Now uh, regarding orthopedics, uh, Dr. Armugam came and approached me and he said, Madam, I think this will be very good for patients. The patient results will be much better and they will be able to give better results. And short-term results, long-term results, everything would be much better using the robo. 
we already know that Robo has uh, uh, gives very precise uh, results and uh, gives um, you know the surgery is very precise and the results are very good. So uh, I just uh, went through a few uh, bits of literature and I found that there was uh, you know it was one of the best uh, uh, technologies and this is an upgraded Robo and uh, I think it's the fourth or fifth generation of Robos. Am I right? The fourth generation of Robos. So. Uh, we believe that this will deliver much better results than the previous ones and uh, uh, we decided that we will go in for the robo and uh, today this uh, meet is just to introduce the, lobo, the robo in uh, Prashant hospitals and uh, we hope that uh, all orthopedic surgeons in uh, the hospital will use it and uh, Dr. Armugam is already uh, quite familiar with the technology and all others, we had a meeting and everybody has agreed to use the robo and uh, I'm sure our results will be much, much better and the results, the, what the public expect and the longevity will be much higher. Thank you.